What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be Antonana. It's going to be a day full of fun and tonight is pirate night guys so stay tuned. Before I get off the ship I just wanted to show you the French Quarter uh, which is one of the newly redesigned areas on board the Disney Wonder. It actually got renovated um, in 2019 and it is now a New Orleans themed lounge and you guys can get drinks here and it is right next to Tiana's place which is perfect which goes ideally with the theme and you can get drinks and it, they have they host game shows here sometimes and it's just a really nice area to sit down and talk and have a drink okay everyone we are now off the ship Look at that beautiful Disney one there in the background, guys. And we are going to explore Ensenada right now. Okay, guys, so pretty much right now, if you do not have a vaccine, you are able to still get off and do port adventures. However, you're not going to be able to get off and, and explore by yourself. Due to the changes that were made last minute, I just ended up not doing a port adventure. But instead, I'm going to be showing you guys the beautiful areas here in Ensenada. You guys, so as soon as you exit the port, there are trams here. I believe they cost you, it costs $4 to uh, take, it takes you to downtown Ensenada, but I think we are going to walk there. It's, I, I don't know how long the walk is. It's a pretty short walk. But if you guys do want to get off the boat as soon as the gangway opens, you guys are going to have to get a virtual queue. You can do those through the app. It is one of the new COVID things that they have here on board so that people don't crowd up near the gangway when you are getting off the ship. But like I said guys, if you don't get off as soon as we get here, like I did, uh, you guys pretty much won't need one and you guys can just get off and whenever you want. Guys, just look at the beautiful view of the ship behind us. Okay guys, we are here at Calle Primera, which is First Street here in Ensenada, where there's a bunch of little shops, bunch of little restaurants, and just a great place to walk around. Okay, you guys, so right behind me is Cantina Husongs, which is uh, Ensenada's first cantina ever, and I think we're gonna go have a drink inside. Okay, guys, so we just got our margarita. Um, it's really good, guys, and I will tell you guys a little bit about this place. So, Husongs is actually the birthplace of the margarita. It, it was invented in October 1941, and there was a bartender called Don Carlos, and he was trying to create a new drink. So he created the margarita and he gave it to a customer named Margarita. So if you guys ever wonder where the name of the drink comes from, it was because the custom, the bartender gave the customer the drink and her first name was Margarita and she was the first one to ever try the drink. Okay, you guys, so I am here outside Birreria Guadalajara, guys. One of the famous birrerias here in Ensenada. It has been around for 48 years, guys, and we are go about to go inside to have a taco. There's actually four different types of birria. They're all gonna be the same type of broth. They actually have pork, goat, lamb, and beef. So they have plenty of whichever one you guys want to try. And I actually got a small plate, and we're gonna see how good it tastes. Okay guys, so they greeted me with some chips and salsa. We're about to try this out. When you come here, you are greeted with the full experience, guys. We have a handmade tortillas here. 
So basically, um, in a tradition of birria, you guys can add cilantro, onions, and uh, radish onto your meal. And it also comes with some nice uh, beans, guys. So we are about to enjoy. I did get the lamb birria, but that, that's because I asked which one they recommended, and they told me my server told me that was the best one. Guys, I can definitely tell why they are one of the most famous birrias here in Ensenada, guys. Because let me tell you, it is so good, guys. I wish I could finish it all, but since we're trying so much food today, we're not going to be able to finish it all. Good, and you can definitely taste the lamb. It's very different from beef. These handmade tortillas are definitely ones like you'll never taste in the States. They're really good. Um, and they're a little bit thicker than the ones at home, but guys, let me tell you, they are good and this meal is just too good. Okay guys, so the birria is really good guys, but I think we are going to make one more stop and that is at the most famous restaurant here in Ensenada. Okay guys, I just want to let you know that here on 1st Street is where the trams from uh, the port actually drop you off. So it's $4, but guys, let me tell you, since we're eating so much, I had to walk. We finally made it to La Guerrerense, one of the most famous restaurants here in Ensenada. So they actually have a taco cart outside, but this is the sit-down restaurant. I'm pretty sure they offer the same food items, but we decided to come here inside, guys, to see the actual restaurant. A little history about this place. It all started in 1960 by a lady named Sabina. She started out in the taco cart, and she was very famous for her tostadas. But throughout the years, many celebrities have come here and they have promoted this place and that's why now it is so famous because it is so good and their foods are very traditional from here okay guys so we got the shrimp taco which is what we are what they are mo really famous for um it is ensenada style so ensenada style is it is pretty much deep fried in a batter with cabbage pico de gallo and like sour cream on top so after visiting the three places here on First Street, guys, I have to say, my favorite spot was definitely La Guerrerense, guys. The shrimp taco is so good, and it is a very traditional dish of this area, guys. So we just made it back to the ship, but guys, check this out. They are greeting us here with waters. I'm really thirsty, and like, it is really nice that they have waters here for us. Let me tell you guys, it is so nice to see this sign. I didn't see this when I exited, but guys, it's super cool that they have towels here for when you exit and if you're doing any water activities. What's up, Shish? How are you? Good, good. Doing well? Yes. Have you get, have you been to up to any trouble? Mm, oh yes. I mean, there's I think there's a reason why he wasn't at the masquerade party. Right, right. We could not come. This just sits there. Yeah, he must have been up to trouble. Yes. A little bit. A little bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you been swimming a lot? Yeah, surfing? Oh my gosh, yes. That's awesome. Can we get... Yeah, we need a wave pool on, uh, on the ship. <laughs> yeah, we gotta talk to Mickey. Okay, guys, so that was really cool. We just saw Stitch. Stitch is a little tricky to find here on the boat, you know, because he's always up to trouble. But I think right now... We are just gonna go hang out. We may go to bingo actually. They have bingo every single day on board. However, I feel like more people are going to go tomorrow, so the prize is gonna be bigger. So I think we may go tomorrow, but we might go today. So you never know. Stay tuned, guys. Check this out. So they are actually doing maintenance here on the deck. But look, guys, they're doing it from all the way down there. Okay guys, right. so we are okay, about to play bingo, but my parents aren't here rocks. yet, so right, it looks like I'm on my own. Right. Guys, what is up? So we just played bingo, and guess what? We are unlucky again, so um, right now we're probably just going to go upstairs, hang out, we'll see what to, what to do, because tonight, guys, is pirate night. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I do want to let you guys know that on a traditional four day cruise out of San Diego, you won't be stopping in Ensenada. You will actually go to Cabo, but due to a storm, um, we had to go to Ensenada instead of Cabo. I'm a little bummed that happened because Cabo is cooler than Ensenada, but it is what it is guys. At the end of the day, they're just trying to keep us safe. So they did what's best for us. Okay, you guys, so tonight is pirate night here on board. So there will be fireworks. However, there will not be a pirate deck party. 
I'm really sad about that, but we did have the Mickey Mouse grade party last night. I feel like for private night, everything is going to be exactly the same except for the deck party. So they do have uh, a pirate show that's going to be in D-Lounge right now. So we are actually going to go check it out and it's called A Pirate's Life for Me. Guys, but as we are on our way to the D-Lounge, I just saw Goofy and Stitch. Hi Stitch, hi Goofy. Oh my gosh, I love your holo or your pirate costumes. We got to see your Halloween costumes last night, but now it's the pirate costumes. Yeah. I'm really sad that there's not going to be a deck party, but I mean, at least we have fireworks, so that'll yeah, be super cool. Help them off. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see if anything goes wrong. You know. <laughs> you know oh, the party. Hey, Grace Bud Wiley, you be excited? Oh. oh. Even though there is no duck party, this night is crazy, guys. So I actually just saw Mickey and Minnie right here. So we're about to go take a picture with them. And then we just got a picture with Captain Hook, guys. So there are there are plenty of activities here on board, even though there is no duck party. Oh my gosh, I love your guys' outfits. Oh my gosh. Guys, just be careful for Captain Hook, you know, because he's always up to some trouble. You know, be on the lookout. I think I he I think he I just saw him in D Lounge, so you may have to be careful guys. Yes, alright. Oh the crocodiles. Oh yeah, he's scared of crocodiles, so if, if if we see one, we better point it out to him. Right? Yes. Guys, I didn't even realize it, but we are leaving Ensenada guys. We had a great time and we definitely tried a lot of food. Okay guys, so I definitely recommend A Pirate's Life for me. It is a awesome game show guys. I had an absolute blast. It was fun. The kids all had a great blast. The families there, they also had lots of fun. So if you guys end up going to A Pirate's Life for me, message me because guys, I'm serious. It is really good. Okay guys, so I just wanted to let you know that due to COVID restrictions, they do require you to book an appointment to go to guest services. You can do that all through the app, but it's not like the old way where you could just go walk up and uh, talk to them. So you do have to book an appointment before coming. So our stateroom host actually left us these bandanas for pirate night tonight. So it kind of sucks that I don't have a costume, but at least I have the bandana guys. 
Okay, you guys, so tonight we are having dinner at Animator's Palette. Um, so since it's Pirate Night, we are repeating Animator's Palette. However, we will have a pirate menu. And let's check it out, guys. It is all pirate themed. Okay guys, so I've never had a dinner here at Animator's Palette during Pirate Night, but guys, let me tell you, the lights completely changed the atmosphere, guys. Okay guys, so that was an unexpected little pirate show that they had here at our dinner. But guys, the entrees just got here, and let me tell you, oh boy guys, it is a lot of food. Guys, look at this cool octopus that our stateroom host left us and I love the little detail with the eyes you see he put um, chocolate coins he used them as eyes that's really cool guys but guys let me tell you when you guys get this in your stateroom it is never a good sign because it means the cruise is ending and that makes me really sad guys so I'm trying to exit right now right but like look I'm stuck that's weird but anyways we're gonna go try a different one Okay guys, so I am on deck four right now, but here's a quick tip for you guys. So if you guys want to see the fireworks show and you guys don't want to see it from deck 10, there's great viewing from deck four. They also play the music and everything. The only thing you guys want to make sure is that you guys are on the starboard side. And if you guys don't know which side is starboard side, Port side is going to have four letters and left also has four letters guys. So port side is always going to be the left side of the ship and starboard side is going to be the right side of the ship. You guys want to be between midship and forward ship. So if you guys don't want to be up on the deck where it's going to be crowded, um, I definitely recommend coming here to deck four. But I'm going to be up on deck 10 guys so that you guys get the full experience of what it's like watching the fireworks. So I'm here on deck 10. Um, the show doesn't start uh, for another 45 minutes, but I do recommend getting here early because if you do want a good spot, and then you guys do have to get a spot on deck 10. There are social distancing markers all throughout the deck and crew staff is here to keep everyone safe and make sure that there are not people standing between the dots. Okay guys, if you guys head back towards, if you guys head towards aft of deck 10, they do have it roped off because of the fireworks. They're trying to keep everyone safe. So make sure you guys are between midship and the forward part of the ship so you guys can get a good view of the fireworks. Time leads to Disney Ever After. <laughs> So the fire 
fireworks just ended. It lasts about four minutes. It's a little bit of a shorter version right now of the fireworks, but it was definitely really nice to see. Disney Cruise Line is the only cruise line out there that does a fireworks show at sea. So you guys definitely have to check it out if you guys come on board. Okay guys, so right now we are going to the best adult show on this cruise, which is called Match Your Mate. And unfortunately, I will not be filming it because it is going to be about other couples and it's not going to be about me. So I will not be filming that, but I will definitely share my thoughts on it afterwards. Okay guys, so since it is a big show, it is going to be here in Azure and we are going to get a seat. Hey, hey. From Vito. Hello, lovely to meet you. Welcome to the Azure Line. Thank you, thank you. Guys, let me tell you, that was my first time going to Match Your Mate. And let me tell you guys, it is a great show. It is super funny, guys, but it is a very adult only show. So make sure you guys drop off your kids before coming here because let me tell you guys you will not want to miss it guys. That is a wrap for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Tomorrow we are going to have a sea day, our last day on the cruise which I'm really sad about. I've, I've been having a great time on board showing you guys all the experiences, all the events, all the activities. You guys have been seeing the activities that are here in the lounges in the d lounge but tomorrow night guys is going to be up on deck nine where all the fun is at uh there's pools jacuzzis water slides so make sure you guys tune in for tomorrow for the next vlog as i will be showing you guys that but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe mondays and thursdays at 12 o'clock pacific standard time and like always guys always make a difference that's a peace out for today Woo!